For an old Kansas City suburb, Raytown is experiencing an upswing in development projects. Uh, Marissa Cleaver explains why this could just be the beginning of the revival for that city. For 20 years, Greg Glidewell owned Smith Brothers Hardware. It now belongs to his son. Glidewell says Raytown was the perfect location to live and work. Back when I moved here, it was, I mean, it was a booming little town. But Glidewell says when times got tough, people moved out of the city. Now things are changing again. It's good because, I mean, there is a, there's a lot of people that will, you know, trade out here if there's something to trade at. Mayor David Bauer says they are going after new businesses like never before. The spirit that we have, we're receptive to looking to good business development deals for us. We want to stay that aggressive. It's starting to pay off. A new Aldi's grocery store is going in a closed car dealership at Gregory and 350 Highway. Economic Development Administrator Tom Cole says a national chain restaurant will also go in that space. That's a significant project as it completely and dramatically changes the face of that particular intersection in town. There's more. An IHOP restaurant will soon take the place of another closed car dealership at 350 and Raytown Road. This abandoned Walmart will be home to Sutherland Lumber. Cole says Raytown is attractive because more than 35,000 cars travel through the city on 350 every day. But now as, as the economy has changed, we're seeing developers adopt a brand new mindset, mindset that maybe it is uh, time to go back and focus on those folks in, in the first tier suburbs. Glidewell hopes this is the start of a new Raytown. Marissa Cleaver, NBC Action News. A city is offering incentives to businesses. The projects still need final approval from their board of aldermen. Tuesday, the board is expected to give the okay.